we would be probably be able to get enough signatures to get him out. The deadline for the organizers of the Rico Gondek to submit signatures to Rico Calgary's Mayor Jody Gondek has passed. Now elections Calgary has to count the signatures received and determine whether or not the 40 percent threshold has been met. But as they do that, petitioner Landon Johnston says no matter what the outcome is, he already has another target in his sights. I'm going to pursue Peter DeMong. He is everything that is wrong with this council. Um, he thought he could just coast his way out of there without doing anything meaningful for his con constituents. He says, like Gondek, Ward 14 councillor Peter DeMong's first priority is not the people, but himself. City News reached out to Councillor the Monk's office, which said it's aware of Johnston's intentions, but was unable to provide a statement in time for broadcast. As for the mayor, Johnston says he knew he was not going to hit the numbers needed to remove her from office, but he believes the message was sent. People don't file petitions um, if things are going well, right? So. If, if this was a good mayor, we would have never gotten 72,000 signatures. He adds the whole purpose was to bring awareness and hold the mayor accountable for what he says has been a bad administration. She's the least favorable mayor, and whether you agree with that or not, you know, that's regular Calgarians looking at their bank account, looking at their roads, looking at the safety on the C train, looking at these policies she keeps bringing out, which don't help the average Calgarian. In Calgary, Silvia Naranjo. City News.